Matthew chapter 16, verses 24. And Jesus said to the disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. He said, first, let him deny himself. You know, he, the Bible says he must increase and I must decrease. I've got to decrease. I've got to be humble. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and strangers to what? To abstain. To deny yourself of the fleshly lust, of the alcohol, of the, of the pornography. Deny yourself of it. Crucify the flesh of that. Uh, anything that is a fleshly desire. Because the Bible says, no flesh shall enter the kingdom of heaven, which wars against the soul. You know, the Bible says, if you walk in the spirit, you'll not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You'll not will fulfill the desires of the flesh. So, again, you got to deny yourself that. Hey, I'm not having that. I'm not doing that. I'm not going there. I'm not doing this. And then he goes on to say, take up your cross and follow me. But in Luke, he, Luke, he says right here, he said, he said to all, if everyone will come after me, let him deny himself. Again, same thing what Matthew just said. But take up his cross daily. Luke said, daily and follow me. Daily you got to take up the cross. Daily you got to crucify the flesh. Daily you got to lay it on the altar. In Mark chapter 8 verses 34, and calling the crowd to him and this and his disciples, he said to them, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him deny the flesh. Let him tell the flesh, hey, you know, you can't have this. Let him tell the flesh, no, you can't do this. And deny to himself and take up his cross and follow me. Again, it's daily. Crucifying the flesh daily, people. In Matthew chapter 10, verses 38, he said, Whosoever does not take up his cross, whosoever does not crucify his flesh, whosoever does not deny his will, whosoever does not deny himself, he said, and, and, and does not take up his cross and follow me. He's not worthy of me. You're not worthy of God if you're not willing to say, look, I'm willing to lay down this. But all oh, what he sacrificed for us. He laid down his very life for us. And we say, look, uh, I, can't, I can't give this up for him. Shame on you. Galatians chapter 2 verses 20. He said, Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ. Again, you're denying yourself everything. You're denying your flesh. I am crucifying my flesh today with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. It's, it, it, I, now I got the Holy Ghost. It's no longer me that's alive, but Christ is living in me. And now I live by 